It's only 99 days until we become full-time RVers. We are filled with so many emotions that we feel like we could explode. Number one, we're very excited. After years of dreaming and preparing for this moment, it's only 99 days away. And we're looking forward to all the amazing places we're going to be able to see, all the interesting people we'll meet, the fresh air, the hiking, canoeing, biking, animals, visiting our kids who are spread out in three different provinces, Ontario, Alberta, and BC. With this excitement comes nervousness. This is a big trip. Living in a 22 foot long box with the bare minimum of what we used to own coming forward into this new life with us. We're wondering if even after all the purging that we've done, is it all going to fit in the RV? We'll do a video on that when the time comes. We aren't worried we won't enjoy it. We've camped in tents for years and a pop-up trailer for the last 20 years. But that wasn't full time. I'm sure some things will appear that we weren't really expecting. We had a trial run when we took our seven week journey across the U.S. when we moved from southern Ontario to Edmonton, Alberta. We saw flood waters in one campground below freezing temperatures for much of our journey. And remember that was in our old pop-up trailer with few features. We had a portable ceramic heater, we had lots of warm clothes and blankets as our only source of warmth. We had crazy wind that ripped our awning, put a hole in the roof of that uh, old pop-up trailer of ours. We fixed it on the fly at the campground with the rivet gun that we didn't even <laughs> think we would use along the trip, but it was in the toolbox. We had a freak snowstorm at the end of May in Colorado that had us shoveling snow off the roof of the pop-up at 1 a.m. A week of non-stop rain, cold weather, but we also had stunning views, mountains, badlands, rivers, waterfalls, floodlands, animals, we saw bison, antelope, grizzlies, black bears, brown bears, moose, deer, we even saw a mountain lion. Well, I think we only saw half of the mountain lion as he was scooting off behind a tree. Yeah. We didn't see his head, but we saw everything from here to the tip of his tail. And the prairie dogs, letting us get right up close to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of fun. We realized that a mountain is not just a mountain. People say, you've seen one, you've seen it all but they are all very different. Each region has a different look to it. We met some wonderful people along the way, and probably we realized we loved it all. We loved every we passionate loved minute of it. every crazy minute of it. Yeah. If we can do that in an antiquated pop-up, in inclement weather, then living full-time in this new RV should be pretty easy. Our nerves come from the unknown. We've always said that even good change is scary. The excitement and the worry come from not knowing what we'll encounter along the way. We know that there'll be things that break at times, a flat tire, crazy weather, maybe even a branch through the roof, or something that sidelines our immediate plans. We're ready to roll with the experience and be as adaptable as possible. There's no home base anymore to hunker down in during a pandemic. Our house will be a moving entity now. We wonder, of course, if we've chosen the right tools to bring along with us. We want enough, not too much. They're heavy, of course. And we're still unsure of where the pandemic will take us. At the moment, we're no longer delaying our dreams. We're heading off, safely isolating in nature in our RV. We've got a plan for our first five, six months. Then we'll have to evaluate and see what is going on with COVID and whether we can head south for the winter, or if we'll be hunkering down somewhere in Canada. Life is an ever-changing journey, and we've decided to take this adventure as it comes. We've done a lot of modifications on our RV, and we still have some more to come. We're booking some sites, planning boondocking, mooch docking locations, and have lots of preparations in place for the three months before our official launch into full-time RVing. We're also planning some more camping with our daughter and grandson around Alberta before we leave in June. We're looking forward to seeing you, our friends, our family, along the road, and creating a new RVing family as we journey through this wonderful country of ours. Join us on the journey. We're looking forward to seeing you on the road. New content will be posted weekly.